Hey everybody, what is up? It is a Friday evening. I am back with another video and uh, my Walmart did it again. Like, a lot of you watched my last video of the strange Walmart restock where I found uh, some of this, the Heritage High Number, which I think, with the help of some of you guys, I've solved the mystery. So if you didn't have, happen to have a chance to catch that video, my Walmart has restocked now three times, counting today, three times in a week, which makes no sense considering that they had restocked zero times that I know of from New Year's all the way up until this week. So we went, what was that, two weeks, over two weeks without anything, maybe even longer than that because, I don't know, it might have even been before Christmas, but I'll, I'll be the first to admit I didn't check my, my Walmart that often over the Christmas and New Year holiday. But definitely since New Year, I have not seen a restock of anything, not even the products that people don't really buy up a lot of, like the Panini Elite Extra Edition or the Leaf Baseball. Um, some of those products that would sit on the shelves and that would not get gobbled up immediately, haven't even seen it. So anyway, all that other stuff, holiday boxes, con contenders, NBA hoops, we haven't, I haven't seen even the empty containers, empty displays of that. So uh, I'm guessing it wasn't there unless I just completely missed it, which I guess is a possibility. Anyway, long story short, my Walmart has restocked three times this week. The first time, I don't have a video of because I thought it was just crappy video uh, to even put on YouTube. The first time, all they had were some uh, Pokemon boxes like the Hatterin, the um, Double, which some people actually think is pretty decent, um, and then some of the XY Evolution packs, which I know are pretty were pretty in demand. Some of the Poke random Pokemon stuff, and then a few Fat Packs of Tops Update. And I apologize if you all really wanted to see me look at Fat Packs of Tops Update, but I didn't film that. But that was just a really sporadic, that was all it was. Not even like a full display of anything. And then the video that I posted the other day, the hockey tins were gone, but now we had this in its place, which was $25 for three hobby packs. I think we've cracked the mystery. These are supposedly hobby packs uh, in here. And I'm gonna open this up, so you'll stay tuned. I'm gonna open this up at the end of this video. I found this, and then um, the hockey tins were gone, and this was in its place. And that was it, a full display. It had the full display of this, so I will give them props for that. But still, none of that other stuff. Holiday, contenders, hoops, um, Elite Extra Edition, Leaf Baseball, none of that. Haven't, no, no, not even close. And then today I go in uh, after I get off work and it's another just bizarre restock, just bits and pieces. We're just getting a little bit here, a little bit here, and we're getting it three times in a week. Here's what I found today. I didn't film it, but I guess I probably should have. Uh, for Pokemon, we had some of those uh, Crimson Invasion Elite Trainer boxes, which I don't know anything about, but I don't think they're that hot of an item. There were some of those which weren't anywhere to be found. And now we had top loaders. Like there were like four or five packages of top loaders. And we had multiple one touches and then a random pack of sleeves. And we also had, I don't have any up here, um, those blister packs of Topps Update. Like this is the blister, these aren't it. These are the ones from uh, Big Lots that had just the old old school packs from last year. But this year's Topps Update, the blister packs. I know you've seen them at Walmart. You know what I'm talking about. Those were randomly there. Like what what is going on guys? Like. We have nothing for two weeks or more, and then we're getting bits and pieces every single day. I don't understand. Like this, I went back and had to, I had to watch my video from, from what was that, 48 hours ago to see, did I just completely gloss over this and completely miss the supplies? But no, it wasn't there. Go back and watch my video. There, none of this was there. And so we got random supplies and blister packs of Topps Update. Uh, I don't know what's going on. Uh, it's it's the strangest thing. So anyway, I don't know how y'all's Walmarts are working, but mine is making my head hurt. And so I think what I'm gonna do, since we did find out that this is the legit price, $25 for 27 cards. You can see right here, it's three nine card packs. And it doesn't say anywhere on here, at least to my knowledge, that they are hobby packs. But these are hobby only packs, which are typically hobby packs you have to buy in a local card store. So let's go ahead and transition to downstairs. I'm gonna open this up. 
Um, maybe we can hit the Luis Robert. I'll be straight honest with you. I, I don't think the checklist is that impressive. I know a lot of people have complained that the quality control has been bad. There's been ding corners, print lines on a lot of the hobby packs that others have opened. And so I'd kind of shied away from this product, but uh, I went ahead and bought it just to give it a, sh a shot and to show you guys what, what was going on in my Walmart. So let's transition to downstairs right, and we'll downstairs. see what we got. So here we are, we're gonna open up this 2020 Heritage High Number hanger box that cost $25, no tax. And I saw where other people were not getting charged tax as well. Someone left that comment for me. So I don't know if that's just a glitch in the Walmart system or the UPC code or whatever. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and open this thing up. I don't know what's going on with my Walmart, but I figured since things are so wacky, look at this, look at, look at this device I'm gonna use. Look at these things. <laughs> I forgot to bring scissors down here. And so I'm just, <laughs> I just saw these things. Let's just look at this, just manhandling. This is just, I don't even know. That's kind of fitting for what's been going on on my Walmart, guys. Just let's make it even crazier. What is happening? Like, how do you have three kind of partial random restocks in a week? That's the craziest thing. It's like my whoever's stocking our shelves is like trying to troll me on purpose, right? Like I'm not gonna come to your store at all for two weeks and then I'm gonna come three times in a week and just put random things out there. I don't understand. So here we go, there's the box, it's empty. Let's check out these packs. They are hobby packs, look at that. It's got the little H down there for y'all who are brand new, which I'm sure all of you already know. Three hobby packs. Uh, special packs may only have five to eight cards if we have an insert. Let's just go ahead and rip right into it, guys. Uh, I, I will say this, um, someone left a comment about the Fortnite. I should probably pick that up. It was gone today, so I don't know if someone else in my area uh, knows kind of the Walmart I'm talking about and watched the video and picked up all that Fortnite because the Fortnite and the uh, some of the Garbage Bill kids were gone. So it's possible I have a, a viewer who lives close by who who watched the video and saw the comments and was like, hey, I'll, I'll try to snatch up that, which is cool. No hate. Uh, there's my first rookie, Con Wong of the uh, San Francisco Giants. Jack Mayfield, another rookie. Like I said, oh, look at, oh man, yeah, you can see some print lines on a few of these. Like it's right down the middle of Francisco Laragona's face. You can't really see it on camera very well. Tony Kemp for the Athletics. Mitch Moreland, who I believe got uh, granted his free agency and is not going to probably be a part of the Red Sox anymore. And then Greg Bird. Isn't he the guy that used to be on the Yankees? I think he's the guy who used to be on the Yankees. Yeah, he just could never stay healthy with the Yankees. All right, first pack. Not much to write home about, guys. I got to make my $25 back, right? <laughs> Where's the laughing emoji when I need it, right? I, you think there's a chance I'm gonna make my $25 back on this? I think that is slim to none, right? Ronnie Rodriguez for the Milwaukee Brewers. Jose Iglesias, he got re-signed. He actually did pretty well this year for the Orioles. Yoshi Tsutsugo, another rookie for Tampa. He didn't do too bad. David Price, who sat out last year. I respected what he did, uh, paid for a lot of the minor league stuff for some of those minor leaguers who didn't get paid last year. Uh, Gavin Lux, or he gave him, like, each one of them a couple thousand bucks. Gavin Lux, rookie performers, that is probably my best card so far, and that might end up being my best card. I got all these new sleeves, guys. I might as well grab one, right? Man, I can't. I just can't get over what's going on at my Walmart, right? Three times this week, there has been a restock, but it's been the strangest stuff. Restock number one. Let's just give you some random fat packs of Topps Update that nobody really wants. Restock number two. Let's give you this strange thing that costs $25 and doesn't have any tax attached to it. Uh, there's Selby Zavala, don't know anything about him. I apologize, White Sox fans. Um, we've got Sean Armstrong, he didn't do too bad. Brandon Drury, print line all over that on the left. Ken Keenan Middleton, uh, he signed with somebody else. I always kind of liked him with the Angels. But anyway, yeah, restock number one, random Topps Update packs that nobody wants. Restock number two, this crazy stuff. Restock number three, let's just put some random supplies and then Topps Update blister packs. And let's just keep all of the good stuff in the back, right? Let's not put out the Topps Holiday. No one wants to see that. Let's not put out the Panini Contenders football. Let's not put out NBA hoops. Let's not put out even Elite Extra Edition or Leaf Baseball. Leaf Baseball wouldn't sell out. I don't know what's going on, guys. There's Corey Kluber. Corey Dickerson. Corey and Corey back to back. Ben Zobrist, um, has he ever officially retired? All my Cubby fans can can probably tell me that. I don't think he's officially retired, but I haven't seen him play in the last couple years. Jonathan Scope, I know he had those 
personal issues he was going through. Starling Marte, it's mandatory that anytime I see Starling Marte, I have to tell you how he got traded to Miami at the end of the year and then got hurt. Steve Ciszek, he's like six foot five and throws kind of submarine three quarters. Oh, he's six foot six. He's this giant guy who throws under, like <laughs> from underarm position, and it's just really awkward. Jalen Beeks, I can see what people are saying. There are some pretty icky paint or. Um, uh, print lines on this. Jonathan Hernandez, I've, I've touted him on my channel, man. He's a future closer, I think. Um, I don't know for Texas quite yet, but maybe in the future. He's actually going to be very good. And he was good this year, but but uh, I think they might want LeClerc to take the job again. And there it is, Tyler Duffy, the grand finale. So, uh, I did not get my $25 back, ladies and gentlemen. In fact, I may not have even had $5 back. Gavin Lux may have something to say about that. I don't know anything about short prints on these what number you have to be over. There's a 719. Um, I'm not exactly sure. I'll be straight up honest with you. I I shied away from, from this release just because it was hobby only and the checklist wasn't that great. There's one over 700, Starling Marte. I don't know if 700 is the magic number or if it had to be over, you know, like 500 or not 700, 750, uh, 506. These guys are all in the 500s. I don't see any like crazy backs or bazooka or or whatever. Um, 548. So it's possible that maybe over 700 is a short print. I don't know. I'm sure you all in the comments can let me know and I can look it up too. It's not that big of a deal. So uh, overall, guys, there you have it. That's what you're going to expect. Hobby packs. You can see they are hobby packs. Nine cards each. Uh, I don't honestly think it's worth it and I do not plan to buy any more of this. This has actually, st it's still in my Walmart. Uh, this display is almost all still there. Like, I bought this box, obviously, and then it looks like maybe one or two other boxes are gone, but there's still 10 or 12 or 15 boxes of it sitting in that display. So, if anyone else lives in my area and you know where I am, uh, you want to go ahead and grab some of this for 25 bucks, you go right ahead, because I don't think I'm going to be purchasing any of it anytime soon. However, you won't have to pay tax on it, $24.98, and it's just a straight fee, which is also the strangest thing. But I guess that goes with this year, the way things have been going, 2021 has been just as wacky as 2020 has been. So maybe things will go back to normal very soon. I'm going to go ahead and let you guys go. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'm going to try to post another road trip video tomorrow. Uh, I recorded a road trip last weekend, actually, and I've been hanging on to it, and I'm going to edit it and hopefully have it out there for you guys tomorrow to watch. And uh, you can see how I did last week when I was on the hunt for some cards. Thank you so much for watching my channel, everyone. Have a good weekend, and be good out there, everybody.